Hello guys, welcome to episode 4 of Saints on the Rise. It's me, Bad Jokes FM, back at you once again with another video. And finally we are back. It's been about two weeks since I've last done anything with this save. Because my laptop's been gone to be fixed, but I finally got it back. If you haven't seen my videos from over the weekend, I've done a few quite good ones, I think. Last Friday, I did an England under-20s experiment in the Premier League. If you haven't seen that, go and check that out. Some very interesting results with that. And also, I've done a couple of all-around-the-world World Super League videos over the weekend. Again, go check them out. They are getting a lot better, that series. So please, go watch them. But as for this, as for today, we are here. It's the 7th of August 2021, which means we're just about to start the sixth season of this save. If you haven't seen the story of the first five years of this Journeyman save, please go and check it out. I, I did a video a couple of weeks back explaining what's gone on in the first five years. I thought it was really interesting, really entertaining. So please go check it out. And here we are. I'm just going to go through what we've done as far as pre-season goes. So transfers and then we will crack on with today's only game. And we're at home to Hull. Should be a decent result I think for us. I'm feeling quite confident. But then as you can see on the schedule. Next up we've got Arsenal and Chelsea. So that will be tomorrow's video. Both of those games. I just want to do just a one game today, just because we're going to be dealing with all the transfers as well. So don't be waffling on for two and a half hours. Nobody wants to listen to that. And so, I'll just go into the pre-season results. Not really too much has gone on. We did do a tour of America, and we won a couple of games over there. We lost to Philadelphia. Don't know how we lost to them, but it's such a cheesy result for them. And so... Uh, other than that, we've played Porto, we've played Real Madrid and we've played AC Milan just to bring in a little bit of extra money and just to get our name sort of out there in Europe as a bigger team just to try and build the brand. So I'm not really been too fussed about them results. But so let's go and have a look, see what we've done as far as transfers are going. And the ins and the outs, we've spent £29.5 but we've got rid of £24.5 million pound worth of players. So £5 million pound spent, really. Quite decent. I'm quite happy with that. If we see who's come in, we've brought in Phil Jones from Man United. £5.5 million, 29 years old now. He's still looking fairly decent. Not good enough for Man United now, or so they think. But I think... When he gets into the team, because he's picked up a little bit of a knock, he's going to be out for two to three weeks. So first month or so he's out for, but not the end of the world. But he's still looking good. He's still very brave. He's very determined. He's got good work rate, good heading, good tackling, good stamina. Now, I don't know. He still sort of seems to me a sort of an old Steve Bruce kind of player. Not the best technically, but very brave. And he will fight you till the end. So that's the sort of player we want here. Someone who's going to dig in if we do go behind and not get disenchanted, not get too disheartened. So I'm quite happy with that. We've only paid five and a half million. And look at that, his value is 11 million. So if we do decide to get rid of him in January or end of the season, well, there's, there's some profit there to be had. And now the next deal is Manuel Lanzini. If anyone knows anything about me, I'm a big massive West Ham fan. And Lanzini is my man crush. I love having him in my teams. I brought him in on loan in the, in the last season. And he did all right. He did quite well. And so he was available to be bought from West Ham. So 10 million. I don't think that's too bad a deal. 28 years old. Still hasn't played for Argentina. That is ridiculous, I think. I did notice he has played for Argentina this summer. I think he played his first game for them. And I don't know, but just me, I would love to see Lanzini and Messi in the same team. And so, 
Again, we've only paid 10 million, but his value, 18.75 million, three and a half star current, three and a half star potential ability. But look at that, good dribbling, first touch, free kick taking, technique, good acceleration, good agility, decent pace, good off the ball, good vision. I think he is going to be a superstar this year as we try and get into Europe. And now the next guy to come in is someone not many of you may have heard of. It's a fella by the name of Louis Antonio Ordaz. Or really, or really n n none of you would have heard of him. He's a regen. What on earth you want about bad jokes? You definitely haven't heard of him. But anyway, 20 years old, Mexican, 16 tackling, 16 positioning, 3 star current, 3.5 star potential ability, and £16 million value. So again, I think we've done a pretty good deal there. Pretty good shrewd bit of business there. And I think going forward, he's going to be in the centre of our defence alongside Phil Jones when Jones gets himself fit. And so I'm quite happy with that. And the next one is still of the summer, I think. It's not a guy who's going to be in the team too much. He's not going to be in the first team at least. As long as uh, Gabbiadini is not still here, we, we have still been able to keep hold of him for the time being, but it's becoming a battle to keep hold of Gabbiadini. But this, this may just be his replacement. And again, it's a guy who I did have on loan last season, but he didn't play too much because Gabbiadini was scoring 5 billion goals every week. So he didn't really get in, but like I say, if Gabbiadini leaves, Batshuayi here is the man to take over. We've got him on a free, only paying him 14, 40 and a half k a week, and he's valued at 12 and a quarter million. So that is almost that is going to be one hundred percent profit if we do just decide to sell him on in January, which I don't think we're going to do. I quite like him. He looks good without being brilliant. He's just on the cusp of could be awesome. He's got good acceleration, good agility, good pace, good f decent finishing, good first touch. And his mentals let him down a little bit, I think. But he's solid. He's very much a solid backup if we need him. And the last guy to come in is a fella who I know from that England experiment. I did do on Friday. Again, go check it out. It's a fella by the name of Ovi Ijaria. We've got him on loan from Man City. Not sure how much he's going to play because of who else we've got in the centre of midfield at the minute. But he does look very good. But he looks good at what he does and he's not good at anything else. If you get what I mean. It does say that he can play pretty much wherever, but I think central midfield or central attacking midfield is his bag, not anything else. He is dreadful from dead ball situations. Look at that, free kick taking of eight, penalties of seven, tackling of nine, which is why I will not be playing him in a central midfield. If I do play him, he will be as a replacement for old Manu Lanzini, just in the central attacking midfield role. Because I don't want him getting caught out and getting sent off just because he's timed to tackle badly or something along those lines. And so that's everything as far as the ins. And as for the outs, I'll just go on the ones that have brought us any money in. We've got rid of Bjorn Engels. He's gone to Inter for 14 and a half million. Might rise to 20 million, depending on other clauses. And again, it's somebody who I just don't like the look of. I don't know why. He just doesn't grab me as being particularly great. So we've got rid of him. Got in a decent bit of change. And the next fella to leave for money is Cedric. We've got rid of him to Everton. 29-year-old Portuguese right back. Again, he's got decent physicals. But other than that, technically, again, just nothing to grab me. So we've got rid of him. Everton are paying him 93 grand a week. They obviously seeing something that I'm not seeing. And the last one to go out for any money is not somebody any of you would have seen last year, I think. It's Andy Lewis. We've got rid of him to Bristol. He looks okay. I think he'll be decent down in the Championship. But he's nowhere near Premier League quality. 
is he? As far as any others, I don't think there's anyone who's too surprising that's left. Ozan Turan out on loan, possibly. You might be a bit surprised with that. But again, he's just not somebody who I feel is good enough for us. And now with all that said, let's go and crack on with today's game. At home to Hull. And this is the team for it. We've got Joe Hart in goal. We've got Ali Adnan at left back. Bernardo and Ordaz in the centre of defence. Kadarabak at right back. Nathan Redmond out on the wing. Romeo or Romeo even as the ball winning midfielder. Classy as the advanced playmaker. Grealis out on the left. And Lanzini just behind the goal machine, Gabbiadini. We've still got him, so might as well use him while we can. But just have a look at all the teams that are interested in him. Chelsea, AC Milan, Roma, Inter Milan and Juventus. Yeah, we're not keeping hold of him, are we? But if we can, if we can keep hold of him for the next two, three games and he can pick us up five, six points to get us started, I'm not going to complain too much. We have got people just behind him on the bench who can come in and do a job. So let's crack on and see what the media prediction is saying. They're saying that this game's got a draw written all over it. I don't know how much I agree with that. I've not really seen what Hull have done in the last few years. But maybe they've improved. But I think we are a much better team. And I think we should be looking to be the favourites for this. Especially with them going with the 4-5-1 formation. They are going very defensive. Which is why I changed my formation up. I was going to go 4 2 3 one, But I don't think that works very well. Against a formation as defensive as the one Hull are going for. So let's hope that I've pulled off somewhat of a tactical masterclass. And come out with, come out with a decent result. And now let's just go just do these opposition instructions. And yep. And I'm going to say to the lads. We are the favourites. So go and show everyone what you can do. And again they've taken absolutely no notice of that plonker in the corner. And I'm just waiting for the game to kick off now. Oh, I've got it on got it on super fast. Because that's how I do my friendlies. Sorry lads, one second. Bad jokes is completely messed up here. And yet yeah, that's how we want it. Yeah, and that's better. No, no more Superman speed people please. So now Lanzini coming forward with a ball. Romeo collects it off him. Classy. No, I don't think anything is any going to happen here. Or am I wrong? Redmond with the ball. Redmond crosses it and nothing does happen. And so, as always, at this point in the video, I just want to say thank you to everybody that watches. Thank you to everybody that subscribes. I'm on 36, 36 subscribers now. Really want to get to 40 by the end of the week. So if you can just share this about, let everybody know that Bad Jokes is back with Southampton. And get everybody as excited as I am. That would be great. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at BadJokesFM. Please hit me up on there. Send me a message. I'm always happy to chat to anybody. And that is where you will find all the news about this series, about the All Around the World series, and about all the experiments first. And so, let's crack on and pay, start paying attention to this game now. Finish plugging myself. Solanke's through for Hull. Solanke, oh! Solanke's almost got that in. What a bad start that would have been. But thankfully, it does go wide. Now, 15 minutes on the clock. We've had two shots to their one. 58% of the ball. So, a decent little start. I think whoever scores first is going to be in a cracking position to win. Because both teams aren't set up to be too expressive. But now, Redmond with the ball. Is he going to go round his man? Come on, get past him, man. He crosses it in, but Henriksen just beats Lanzini to it. And Andy Robertson with the ball, plays it to Akuna. Akuna Matata gets it through to Carroll. And Carroll gets it up to Dominic Solanke. And Solanke, is he going to beat his man? No, he's not. Classy wins it back off him, gets it to Lanzini. Gabby Adini to Lanzini. Lanzini, is he past his man? No, he's not. Just crowded out of the ball there. As it's gone long, but Bernardo's picked it up for us. Plays it out wide to Grealish, into Classy. Bernardo, Romeo, Romeo into Classy. Lanzini, Gabbiadini, Gabbiadini's through. Oh, thought he was going to score there. Scuffet par parries it out. And we are looking good here 
Ali Adnan, the Iraqi man with the ball, crosses it in and it gets headed away by the whole defender. Grealish collects it. Grealish into Romeo, out to Adnan. Come on, cross it first time or not, whatever, whatever you feel like doing, mate. Romeo into Lanzini. Lanzini, ah, oh, he's fouled there because he's had about half a country surrounding him. Christ, but we are looking decent at the start of this game. Very happy with how this is going. 20 minutes on the clock. Three shots to their one. 56% of the ball to their 44%. So first goal is going to be so vital here. Come on, what can we do? They're still looking quite defensive. I think they're going to stay like that for the whole game. As Bernardo's just picking up a yellow card there. Just on a 25 minute mark. Half hour gone now. Not really seeing too much. Maybe it's a case of both teams just equally uh, closing each other out. Now 37 minutes. As they're just pushing Henriksen up a little bit there. But other than that, not a great deal to be showing. Adnan with a corner. But Tom Carroll heads it out. As Kadara back with the ball. And what's he going to do? Is he going to go for a shot? He does. Uh, but just far too easy for Scuffe to pick it up there. But we're getting shots in. We are having chances. Just a couple of little tweaks I think needed. Just to ensure we can pick up a win here. As we're just getting towards the half time mark now. And uh, is the referee going to blow his whistle? Yes he is. Okay so I'm going to say to the team. Keep going out there you can still win this. And a few of them are delighted. Just have a quick look on the old instructions. I'm going to say go for the overlap. And do I go that or do I go hit early crosses? Hit early crosses because all the shots we're having. No, no, no. Look for overlap. Bad jokes. Leave it at that, mate. Go look for the overlap. And just try and exploit the flanks, I think. Leave it at that and see what happens in the next 15 minutes. I may be changing that again. As now second half starting now. Solenki kicking it off. Playing it to Carroll. Out wide to Andy Robertson. Ivan to Her Henriksen, Luki Bacchio. And the second half just starting there with an absolutely pointless highlight. When, when I think it's that lanky guy off the TV So he should be here for a highlight like that. So now 55 minutes gone on the clock. Again, not too much to be seen. As now Hull have gone to a 3-5 or 5-3-2 even. I'm going to have to be changing something now. I think now is the time to try and go with the old 4-2-3-1. Just push our men a little bit further forward. As now I'm going to do that. Grealish can go up top there. Come on lad, just do as you're told. And Redmond as well. But I think I'm going to take Grealish off. Just in case he gets himself yellow carded. Because look at that. One, two, three, four yellow cards we've picked up. Wow, that, that is madness. I, I've got to be changing something here. Grealish, yeah, get him off for Neres. I think Neres is happier on the other side, but I'm going to leave him there. No, no, left is where he's happy. No, that's Grealish. Come on, bad jokes. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but rem remember how rem remember what you're doing, mate. No, yeah, he is happier on the other side, but I'm going to set him as an inside forward on here just to see what he can do. And then do I take off one of these defenders just to stop him getting sent off? What do I do? Yeah, yeah I do. I'm going to bring Clement on for Bernardo. And leave it at that for the time being, I believe. To see what that will do. Nearest, just go, oh, you have the ability to make a difference. And he's a jolly fellow, isn't he? And Clement, same again. See, see if I can strike it lucky twice. And nope, he feels I lack credibility. Well, sod you, son. So let's hope those changes can make a difference. And now Kadara back with a ball. Out to Romeo, to Classy, into Gabbiadini. Out wide, oh, Nerez has had it taken off him there. Solenki now with a ball. Plays it forward. Luki Bacchio's through. And Hull are through on goal. And Hull, Hart's oh, just parried it onto the post. Thank Christ for that. Oh my God, my heart is going like mad. 
Oh my gosh. And 20 minutes left. Come on. I'm going to go attacking. And I think I might just take Gabbiadini off. He's not done too much today. And get Batshuayi on. See if he can nick us a winner. 10 minutes left. Come on, lads. Do not want this to be the start of the season. Come on. Late drama, please. Two minutes left on the clock. And 10 seconds left now. And it looks like this is going to be the last highlight of the game. As Kadaraback wins it back. And goes all the way back to Hart. Who plays it forward to Adnan. And that is the end of the game. Well, not the most exciting nil-nil. Not the most exciting game of the season, is it? Thankfully, that's just the first game of the season. And we haven't lost. So, that's got to be something to be happy about. And hopefully, the next couple of games will be more exciting. I can't see them being as... No, well, not as dull. I don't think that was a dull game. Just both teams just sort of cancelled each other out. And so, that is where... I'm going to leave it for today, lads. If you have enjoyed the video, please like this video and subscribe to the channel and come back tomorrow for the Arsenal and Chelsea double header. Those will be better games. I will guarantee it. So come back for that. Follow me on Twitter at BadJokesFM. And as always, I am BadJokesFM. I am out.